Greetings, everyone. Dean3 here from BrightIdeaScouting.com. It's another Scouting in the Park. Today is day 18 of our 30-day countdown to the June 1st launch of the new program updates. Today, I want to talk to you about the arrow of light, or what for most of you was commonly referred to as the Weeblos 2 transition and stuff. So a lot of questions have been coming in about, hey, D3, how do we handle these Weeblos 1s today that on June 1st become Weeblos 2? Um, how do they fit into the whole scheme of things? Yeah, that's a great question. There's a lot of debate, and a lot of smart people have thought about how do we handle this. So much so that we're going to take two episodes to kind of digest everything here. So, first of all... Um, for those of you that are Wimbledon's ones right now, if you've got a great functioning den, you can just continue with the program. The old book that you got, the book you have in your lap today, you can just continue. One caveat is, as of June 1st, a lot of your scout shops are not going to be handling pins and belt loops. They're going to kind of just be running through these supplies as needed. So if you want to have these on hand for the next year, I'd personally recommend that you go to your scout shop ahead of time, work with your den leaders as to what activity pins and belt loops you're going to work on, and buy them ahead of time because they might not have them available when you earn them in September, October, January, February for your blue and gold crossover. But for those of you that are in a Weeblos 1 today, when you transfer to Weeblos 2, which as you've seen from the previous videos is now going to be called the Arrow of Light Den, you can just completely continue. But the question comes up, hey, what do we do if we have at, at fall recruiting 10 new scouts show up? How do we handle that situation? And this has always been one of those weird, uh, weird requirements prior to today. The previous requirements were you had to earn Weeblos. You had to have six months between Weeblos and Arrow of Light. You had to earn eight activity pins. So if you had someone that for the very first time showed up and went, uh, you kind of had to say, hey, we need you very quickly here to earn everything these boys did a year ago uh, over the course of a whole year. We kind of need you to do that in about the next month to two months so that they can track. As my good buddy Joe says, a boy can join scouting at any time with his friends and enjoy it with them and continue on the path to Boy Scouts. And so with that in mind, if you have a new group under the new requirements, you no longer have to earn the Weeblos to do the Arrow of Light. It is its own rank. It has seven adventures of its own. And so if you have a great recruiting night and you get six, eight, ten, or more boys, get the new book because they don't have to deal with all those old requirements of earning Weeblos earning all the belt loops and pins. They have new pins, which will be in stock. So those are kind of the two easy solutions, right? You have an existing Weeblos one that's transferring into Arrow of Light. They just continue with their existing book. You have the other scenario where you have a good mount that you can make their own den, and you can make this as a second den, a third den, depending as to how it works. You get them all the new books, and they go about the new books just as though nothing else has happened. Remember, these are new scouts, right? They don't know anything about the old program. To them, they want to come in and have fun. They just pick up the new book, and they go. And those are the two easy solutions. Now, tomorrow, I want to address the, the scenario of what do you do 
if you've got a well-established den right now, six, eight, ten boys, and you pick up two or three uh, scouts, not enough to form their own den, but yet not enough to really worry about the old program. How do we handle that in-between section? So I hope this has at least given you a first introduction. Um, feel free to comment uh, on the post uh, for this at brightideascouting.com, park034. And from there, we will uh, go on to the discussion. So until tomorrow, when hopefully it's warmer than today, learn everything you can, share everything you know, and live the scout oath and scout law.